Hey everyone, have a hi here, be another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, you know, a lot of you have been asking me what I think the Super Dragon Ball Heroes collaboration will be this upcoming November. And I've been saying to the most of you, you know, there's so many options to choose from, I'm not sure. <laughs> so I thought, well, you know what, let's go ahead and pick one of my theories and go with it. So with that in mind, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. And before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Arbiter720 and Super Saiyan Rose890. Um, Their links will be in the description below for all the art that you're seeing in this video here. So it's uh, really cool stuff that they've that they've made, uh, especially here in the thumbnail. So let's go ahead and dive into all this here. Now, the, it's the 11th anniversary for Super Dragon Ball Heroes, and we've seen some promotional art that... Interestingly enough, it's kind of focusing on Gogeta, right? So if you remember last year in the 10 year anniversary, it was a Super Saiyan 4 theme um, and we ended up getting Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. I think no one, no one was thinking that we would get uh, a crazy hype unit like that. And he ended up being a pretty decent unit and it was a very, very hype celebration. Um, you know, a ton of Super Saiyan 4 units. It was just really fun. And I think there might be going into the same direction, but think about this as well. Last year, we ended up getting a Dokkan Festival exclusive LR Vegito. And I was like, you know what? We got Vegito and Vegito. Why not? Why not? That this celebration here, it's going to be Gogeta, Gogeta. Because we are going to be getting, or reports have been said, that we are going to be getting LR Tech Super Saiyan Gogeta early, or a little bit early, before like December. And uh, that, for me, just came, you know, just thought to myself, okay, well, if they're going to go with Gogeta theme here, it would make sense for them to introduce in the Super Dragon Ball Heroes units another Gogeta. Now, I could have easily said, you know, it's going to be very similar to last year where we're going to get a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, right? But this will be the Xeno Gogeta. So Super Saiyan 4 Xeno Gogeta uh, would make sense. However, however, I wanted to something just to think about something different and kind of still go in line with the promotional anime, right? So uh, so what I thought up was said, you know what, let's go with this fight here. And this is gonna be God Killer, Tr or God Killer um, Hearts and then Gogeta Blue. Now it's not technically Xeno Gogeta Blue, which we've seen art and you know promotional pieces on that as well. Technically when what he fights is, um, just traditional Gogeta Blue, which is going to be fine anyway, because we need a standalone Gogeta Blue, which we don't have in Dokkan, which is crazy to say that, you know, after this game's been around for so long. Um, but now, you know, just thinking out loud here, I, I think that's what we're going to go with. We're going to go with Gogeta Blue, and uh, this is, in a sense, the card art that, you know, I, I set up with all the assets here. I think it looks, you know, pretty great, and, uh, and it's going to be revolved around this theme right here. So, if you haven't seen the uh, the Hearts and Gogeta fight, definitely go check out the promotional anime. I think this is one of the better episodes uh, out there, and uh, it was really, really fun to definitely go check out. So uh, so now let's talk about this unit here in general, and let's talk about the details that I created. So uh, we're going to call this the Omnipotent Hope Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Gogeta. Uh, and this, hopefully, you know, maybe they could do something like in parentheses Dragon Ball Heroes versus Xeno because it's technically this is not Xeno uh, Gogeta or they might you know I, I don't know kind of how the characters in the promotional anime kind of sit right it's not part of the original timeline but some of the characters are kind of you know said to be that so because there's two sets of Gokus and Vegetas in the promotional anime. Anyway, it's very confusing. So anyway, let's break down this unit. Uh, leader skill, I just said, you know, let's make it easy. Last year was crossover at 170%. We're going to make it Dragon Ball Heroes, right? So uh, we technically don't have 170% Dragon Ball Heroes leader. Uh, I think Fu, the Int uh, Fu, is 150%. So it makes sense. Make it easy there. Super attack, we're going to go God Kamehameha because... Generally speaking, Gogeta Blue, you don't uh, see him do Kamehameha uh, much, but um, uh, but in this case scenario, he does do a, a general Kamehameha. I just put God Kamehameha uh, on there. The movie, the movie Gogeta ended up doing Kamehameha, right? So at the the final shot. So uh, in, in this case here, it greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mass damage. I mean, pretty simple here. The passive skill, all right. The passive skill called the Stop the God Killer. 
Uh, it's attack and defense 150%, so 10% better than last year's. And I still kept this unit as a support unit because I really like that about the Vegito, right? Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, there's some utility there. Uh, but in this case scenario, it's going to be a better utility because it can be a support unit or semi-support unit for time limit uh, category allies. So it's Dragon Ball Heroes, category allies, key plus one, uh, attack and defense 20%. And then time limit category key plus one attack and defense 20 percent so a little bit better than what you get over in grade eight power and um um well i guess not it's the same thing grade eight power is is outside the the uh the super dragon ball heroes you know category in of itself right so anyway so very similar with that. Now, I did add launches additional attack and has a high chance of becoming super attack when there's another crossover category ally in the same team. So, uh, or the same turn. I should put the same team. Yeah. Anyway, uh, made it harder on this one here. But, you know, uh, why not? And then something additional, because it is a Gogeta or Gogeta Blue, we're going to have critical hit and a chance of, or high chance of evading uh, enemies attack, including super attack, when there's a God of Realms category enemy. Well, guess what? You know, this will be very, very helpful in the uh, God of Destruction event, and, uh, you know, having that high chance to dodge and performing critical hit would make this unit very, very strong in that, uh, in that section, so, uh, or in that event. Now, the link skills, the same warrior race, warrior gods, Command may help prepare for battle over in Flash, Fuse Fighter, and Fierce Battle. And then categories, I was thinking, well, since he's not movie Gogeta, right? I can't put him on movie heroes. So it doesn't really help movie heroes as much. But it does provide benefits for fusion. It provides benefits for Realm of Gods. We got Kamehameha. We got Dragon Ball Heroes, Final Trump card, which, yeah, I guess this was a Final Trump card in the promotional anime as well. We got crossover, we got time limit. So I think that works out fairly well. It's uh, more than six categories, which is kind of the minimum that I would want to see any uh, any new unit uh, when you're summoning for it. I was thinking about what other categories we can use here, but I really couldn't come up with anything that made any sense. So I could have just put anything on here, <laughs> but uh, uh, the stats are pretty decent too. 18.3 for HP, attack 17.7. And then 99, almost 10,000 for defense here. So I don't know. I, I think, you know, and the reason why I chose Int here because um, the Vegito, the Dokkan Festival exclusive Vegito was strength. And then they ended up, oh, actually, you know, I, 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 uh, I confused that a little bit. Um, I should have actually made this AGL. I should have made this AGL because I was thinking Super Vegito last year. Um, the LR Dokkan Festival exclusive was strength, and then they made it physical for the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. So that was the type disadvantage. This is the type advantage to tech Super Saiyan uh, Gogeta. Anyway, doesn't really matter, right? So it's all it's all uh, for fun and speculation here. So whether it's uh, Int or um, or or AGL, either one would have worked out. So. Um, now, here's the thing, you guys are probably wondering, well, you probably did a card or some details for hearts. I did not. I did just kind of mess around and do a little bit of a card art here, but, you know, I basically don't have enough time to end up actually doing it. So I figured I leave it up to you guys to create the hearts card and provide details on the hearts card. However you guys want to set it up. Do you guys want to set up closer to what the... Um, uh, what the Super Saiyan 4 Broly was, just kind of a, a you know a damage dealer kind of scenario here. It is going to be an extreme unit, so uh, we, just, we have a lot of those on Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Uh, the card art was, I could have did a better job, right? So, but uh, I think the uh, Gogeta looks really good, but Hearts is a very, very powerful character in the promotional anime, so go ahead and uh, mess around with it and uh, definitely, you know, comment in the comment section below what you would like to see hearts to look like if hearts you know ended up being a card so tell me what you guys think i had fun making this here in the uh super saiyan god super saiyan or gogeta blue as the super dragon ball heroes promotional uh, collaboration in november um i think it's a high chance of this happening right i think it's a high chance of this happening and, and due to the fact i'm using the theory that hey we are getting gogeta why not get a Gogeta on top of that? So some of you guys might rather have Xeno Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. If you guys prefer that, let me know in the comment section below uh, for that as well. So anyway, um, 
with that, if you are new to my channel, uh, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Keep on Dokani. We'll catch you next time. Later.